Holy moly, welcome back to Peculiar Portions. Welcome to my pee-pee. Uh, your pee-pee is so interesting. It is. <laughs> it is. A lot of people say it's not long enough. They wish it could be longer. Uh, well, you know, there's good. There's a good sort of... They've had long ones previously, yeah. though. Yeah. So there's a... Hmm, I s- I'm just waiting for you to say, okay, well, we'll do another intro. That was a warm up. I'm just waiting for you to say that. I'm waiting for it. And it didn't come. Well, it didn't come. That's My the PP didn't with come. Your pee-pee. Yeah, I've heard that. <laughs> what have we got? We got five stories. Oh, wow. So, we you normally, normally do like three or four. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is going to be a two hour episode, but, Lewis. No, but that's just because we meander off and whiffle waffle. We need to be focused. We need to go like, bam, 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 bam. That's five, five right? Five times. Yeah. This is particularly cursed. Right. Tropicana, that make uh, orange juice and other fruit juices. Yes, it's the condensed orange juice, isn't Yeah, it? not real orange juice. No. no. It's, <laughs> it's just fake with sugar yeah. added, probably. Um, Check it out. Allegedly. So they've created a cereal. Tropicana have. Yeah. That you don't. You don't put milk in it, you put orange juice in the cereal. I see, because putting orange juice in regular cereal would be absolutely fucked up. Heresy. But, <coughs> they, but if they've done a special cereal. One, yeah. I'm not against it, I suppose. If it's designed specifically for it, you know, like. When have you. Like, what things do you pair with orange juice? Right. Other Normally. than cranberry juice or lemonade or other little like gin. Cranberry juice and orange juice. Well, yeah, yeah, that's a common one. Oh, like the tequila sunrise. Yeah, or it kind of it is. Neg- is that negates what it is? The, the sourness of the cranberry with the sweetness of the orange. It's quite a yeah. good combo. So it's it's a granola cereal. Right, okay. That's and and they're giving nut-based. away this isn't going to be like for sale. This is like a limited run. They're giving them away for free to lucky, lucky, lucky people. <laughs> Maybe they're just testing it out, like testing yeah. the waters, as it were. Testing the orange juice of the this idea. It might catch on. They're Certain like, people, weirdos. I th- Maybe they're like. I think. I think it's finally time. I think the people are ready, and then they just like pull a lever and like, and like. The cereal is there behind, you know, in an alcove of the wall. It's been there the whole time. It's been there for like 30 years. Covered in like a velvet. (laughs) They pull a velvet thing off it and then there's a metal dome. They lift the metal dome. Two people have to enter keys and turn them at the same time. Yeah. Did you just turn the key anti-clockwise? Well, you did. Yeah, we... Why are you turning it anti-clockwise? We can't turn it the same way. When do you ever open a door by turning the key anti-clockwise? The, the Yale locks. They turn it and the door opens. Maybe my door's on backwards. That could have been it. That, that happens. I feel like I've caught you out. Like you're an imposter. You're a sus. You're a sussy. <laughs> I'm an alien. Sussy backer. <laughs> an alien has taken over Lewis Are you and I've just caught on. Sherlock Holmes. So I was like, what wait a this, minute. Like, mine- That's not how you unlock a door. Oh, shit. What the fuck is that? I was just doing it symmetrically, like ceremonial lock with two docks, locks that You're not really doing it symmetrically, sh- otherwise you would have done it with your left hand. I'm not left-handed. I probably can't open a lock with my it's, left hand. It's harder to do it because obviously it's up there on on the right-hand side. So I wouldn't typically use my left I just, hand to I do also, that. you know, this is my tea hand. I think I had my tea when I was doing the lock. Or did I? <laughs> What are you fucking around with a cup of tea for? Put the fucking cup of tea down. This serious business. We've got to unveil this cereal to the world. I've got, have a smell of that. It's um, black currant. Oh, it's fucking lovely. That will go great with a bit of Tropicana. I'm going to have to have a cup of that in the mm. break when we're done with it's this. Actually, it's actually black currant. Should we get through this a bit quicker? And blueberry. Uh, they've got a cereal, it's very, it looks terrible. <laughs> Next story. I want to have the cup of tea. So this is a very sad story from The Guardian. Uh, Harry Long. Right. Um, I'm bracing myself for sad news. The headline is... I punctured my lung by eating cereal. I'd got through about a third when I felt an excruciating pain under my shoulder. Accidents happen to me all the time. I play a lot of sports in Melbourne 
where I'm finishing a master's degree and potentially storming towards a mixed netball grand final. Fuck, what is this nonsense? What is going on? I've broken my back, dislocated my kneecap, torn my groin. Oh. How did he do? I don't want to know how he did that. But he looks nice, so, you know, I'm sure it was very... Uh... Maybe he was, you know, sports jacking sport. it, and he got cramp or something. That's what I, I mean. I didn't want to just say it. Suddenly, <laughs> he ripped his <laughs> ripped his fucking dick off. Yeah, I don't think that's what he it was is. watching. Sips. Oh, that would be why watching Sips play Dota. And he was like, yeah. oh, fuck this. So anyway, this guy is was so he's had he's had a lot of accidents in his life. Yeah, he hasn't had the best luck. Um, so. And- he... he when he was sixteen, they are they're on holiday in Malaysia, which I don't think is relevant. Um, it's more just it all feels like he's showing off, right? It does. This whole thing. I'm very sporty. Yeah, you know, I was. I was going to the grand final. Netball grand final. Yeah. I had my master's degree. Oh, family. Oh, we, oh. we went to holiday to Malaysia. Malaysia, yes. Mm. Where I was, I dislocated my kneecap. Whilst I was joining the space program. Oh yes, yes. And and then I tore my groin while I was having sex with a supermodel. Yes, I was. And then I had appendicitis because I ate some Sorry? caviar. Appendicitis. Appendicitis. Yeah. I said it right the first time. Uh, so what? But know? all of that, <clears throat> nothing was scarier than a piece of cereal. Uh, the cereal in question was called Honey Stars. We don't have those over here. It must have been some cheap. If I was going to release a cereal, local, I'd call it Honey Stars. Unregulated rip-off cereal. Honey Stars. <laughs> is it true that they don't do... That would be your cereal. Is it true they don't do sugar puffs no more? Sugar puffs got... They banned. They stopped making they them. They were too sugary. Yeah. Well, there was a time <clears throat> when calling your stuff sugar something was mm. cool. Because sugar gives you energy. Sugar good. Yeah, but now sugar see is bad. Sugar bad. No sugar. No, no. no. So I think they thought that they had had to rename them honey puffs instead. Mm. Because honey good still. Honey good for you. Except honey just sugar. And like orange juice, just bad. (laughs) Just really bad. Just hidden sugar. Veiled in lies. And water. And sometimes pulp. Well, honey's fructose, isn't it? It's got a lot of fructose. So the only other source of honey's fructose. Honey, the sugar in honey is fructose. Really? Yeah. Good lord. Here you go. You learned something today. I did. Mm. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that information. Well, it's different to sucrose. Slightly different, but they, they do basically the same thing. Honey stars. The honey flavored, star shaped. Could have guessed that from the name. Didn't to be need honest. that bit of info. Pellets of sugary goodness. Pellets. A treat for the growing teenager I was. I had them every morning. Of the trip, the same way I ate any cereal without milk. What? He had him with orange Orange juice. (laughs) (laughs) I never got on board the milk and cereal bandwagon because it makes everything too soggy. I hate those people. they, they, They just might as well have a fucking packet of crisps. I was about a third of the way into an admittedly enormous bowl when suddenly, mid mouthful, I felt an excruciating pain under my shoulder blade. It was as if someone had come up from behind and stabbed me. Ah! Within seconds, my moaning and groaning caused heads to turn. Dad kept telling me to pull myself together, but the pain wouldn't let up. Unbelievable. You're making a bloody scene. Stop it, son. (laughs) Ah! (laughs) This sounds terrible. This sounds disastrous. Over the next week, I experienced shortness of breath going up and down stairs, and when I tried to hold my breath underwater, I could feel a little bit of pain in my shoulder. So they thought it was asthma because they have a family history of adult onset asthma. Right. But That's it was x ray when they were in Singapore. Oh my God, now they're in fucking Singapore. <laughs> On a fucking world tour. <laughs> this family. Seven days later, when while we were in Singapore, Dad we were went staying to our villa in the south of France. Yes. Uh, we had just come for our Italian villa, uh, which isn't as good. The Riviera, much nicer that time of year. Oh, anyway. Beautiful, yes. We went to our private clinic. We flew Concorde to New York to see the no, finest Switzerland. doctor. No, Switzerland. Sorry, to Switzerland. Yeah, Switzerland. Right. And we popped in at the, our vault. 
the family Ooh. vault. Yes, to look at our gold and Nazi art collection. <laughs> it was just a matter of time. Uh, uh, sorry. Switzerland and had gold. To do it. So they had an X-ray. Yeah. It turned out he breathed in a shard of cereal. Yeah. And uh, it had punctured. His lung. So he was fucking wolfing down dry ass cereal yeah. so quickly that he, he took an intake of breath and a tiny bit went into his lung and just fucking pierced it. Yeah, and st- got in stuck in lung. there. And I guess he was like coughing, trying to cough and get it up, but he couldn't, I guess, maybe. Since that breakfast, I'd been breathing with one lung as the lung had totally collapsed. You feel like if you went to the doctor and he your lung had collapsed, he'd be like... He put the thing on, and he'd oh, have yeah, a little yeah. listen. The stethoscope. And he's like, "That's weird." There's like, I can't hear any any movement yeah, on that, that one part of your body where your lung is. I think it's asthma. <laughs> yeah, that's right. My surgeon did his medical degree in Melbourne. He started telling me about how how Australians are all bred tough. There's a lot of toxic masculinity in this story, isn't there? Before What's I, going on? His dad's I, like, stop making a bloody scene, mate. What's <laughs> fucking wrong with you? Come on. I didn't raise a bloody <laughs> He's like, I punctured my lung, Dad. Eating cereal. A ginormous bowl of cereal, Dad, with no milk. Unbelievable. Before I knew it, he had jabbed me with a long corkscrew shaped instrument. Oh, yeah, yeah. That, I immediately passed out. Do you know what that is? It was a um, pig's penis. Right. Yeah. Yeah, we use those to knock, <laughs> knock out pommies. We don't use bloody <laughs> metal needles here. We use pig cocks. <laughs> <laughs> he passed out. <clears throat> Half an hour later, hooked up to what looked like a tiny vacuum that was slowly removing excess air from my lung and reinflating it. I was stuck like that for five days. Five days? My vacuum cleaner is probably better than that. So he had flown and it's Malaysia one of those real to... low sucker ones. <laughs> A low sucker. Yeah, Sounds the good. fucking little Henry boy. Sounds good. He barely got any sucker. Henry. On this is Henry. He's my low sucker. <laughs> <laughs> um, very, very weak sucking. So the problem is that he had flown on a plane from Malaysia to Singapore with a collapsed lung. If they'd reached a certain altitude, what? he could have just fucking died. Right. So apparently it's fine. I guess it's quite a short-ish flight. Within a few weeks of getting home, everything was back to normal. Unfortunately, I punctured the same lung during a netball game. Why are you eating cereal during a netball game? (laughs) You fucking mad lad. This is like his half-time snack. Crunch. Oh, my bit bloody hungry. I'm going to have some (laughs) of this dry-ass fucking honey star cereal. What are you doing? Ugh. Ah! Someone fucking stabbed me! Get the Henry over over here! My lungs been punctured again. Someone get the pig cock! <laughs> <laughs> it's like Pulp Fictioned it. I still eat cereal without milk. That's how it ends. That's the final. The He's final learned words. nothing! He has learned <laughs> nothing! <laughs> If there was one thing to take away from this whole ordeal, <laughs> don't eat the cr- it's you're not have to have soft for it. You're gonna have softer cereal. You're f- playing a dangerous game, he and is. I don't mean netball. No, <laughs> netball very safe, low but, contact. Yeah. Well, I think it should be anyway. Yeah, I don't I, know. I, I don't know what so. it's like in Australia. Who knows? Probably, Who knows? probably completely different. Aussie rules. They probably have to wear helmets. Probably like all oh, headbutt on each other. God knows. The other teams just uh, ostriches, emus. Which one do they have? Emus. Emus. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we got to go to the queen. Okay. So of course the queen has breakfast cereal with Tupperware. She's it very does down to earth. That. It does mention that. It's quite a famous thing. But do you she know? She makes it herself. Do you know what her favourite cereal is? I think it's probably either cornflakes or possibly Weetabix. For some reason. Because they're very boring. <laughs> right. No, they're traditional. Oh, right. And also they have that little mark on them, don't they? The royal seal. Oh, yeah. It's got to be a cereal that's got the royal seal. Mm. A lot of foods have that. It's not as common Everything anymore. she eats. Right. What, what happened to the Jaffa? Ca- oh, they're not in the box. I reckon they've got the royal seal on them. You know, this top one I kissed. Did you? Four of them are missing because Davith ate four of them. 
but he didn't eat that one or the one underneath that was touching the kissed one. Sorry, so, so that was the original, the top one, was it? The top one is, yeah, the one that's the one kissed. I kissed. And so he not only skipped the top one, but he also skipped the yeah, second one. Yeah, because I kissed that side, the chocolate side, which is touching right. the other one. So he's eating But then four he just ate four. Sorry, this has nothing to do with cereal news. No, it's just nice to know <clears> that Daff <throat> wanted God. a Jaffa, but wanted to, but he just needed it to be one Jaffa away from. Are you okay? You've had he's had an idea. Simon's had an idea. Tropicana and Jaffa cakes need to combine. Jaffa cakes could create Jaffa cake cereal that you eat with orange juice. They're quite soft, so they just need to have something spongy and a bit of chocolate. And then you add orange juice to it, and then it's Jaffa cake flavored cereal. Why are you looking so fucking serious? Because, what has happened? Because this is how we make our fortune. <laughs> We've been building this up to it this whole it. time. All this shit before on YouTube and Twitch Jaffa and all that bullshit and all this garbage. No, that was foreplay. This is this is the full. This is sexual intercourse. <laughs> <laughs> this is active penetration. All right, good. Well. <laughs> This is the hot stuff. So the Queen. Um, <laughs> the Queen's favourite cereal, Special K. Okay. I love Special K. Do you? I've been eating ce more cereal now, so I don't eat anything unhealthy in the morning. How healthy is unhealthy is Special K? It's it's relatively healthy. It was it was been advertised as like a diet cereal, but that doesn't necessarily. Yeah, mean I don't it's know how actually healthy it is, but but it's the nice. queen's still going. It's a wheaty and rice. And if she's having it every day, and she's she's lived till ninety six, a grand old age. As of time of recording, she's still alive. <laughs> still alive. Yeah, she's not doing great, but uh, she's doing well for a ninety six year old lady. Very yeah. Well. Uh, every morning at eight thirty a.m. She has her bowl of Special K stored in a plastic box to keep it from going stale. That's right. What, is there a need for that if you're eating a bowl every morning? Surely you're going to get through the box quickly. Well, at the same time, the she probably doesn't eat an enormous bowl like the Honey Stars guy, right? Yeah. She's not... She's She's also got like lots of steak dinners and stuff to go to. Lots of people give her nibbles. She, she eats to, a roast swan every evening. She's, you know, she's only a little old lady. Yeah. And, you know, you've got to leave space. So she probably only has a little bit. And also, I wouldn't I But wouldn't the, little think... old, the little old ladies I've known eat, like, just trash all the time. They eat cakes and things constantly. You're right, and microwave curries and things like this, and scones. They're always eating biscuits and cakes. But mm. at the same time, I don't think anyone is sharing with the Queen. Do you know what I mean? How long does it take you to get through a, bowl, a box of special cake? I'm assuming that probably no one's sharing week? with you. A week? I mean, I'm probably going to have it every morning, and then I'll probably have, like, a couple of other bowls. Do I don't know how big the box is. I don't think I get a very large box. That's probably it. Look, I think the Queen's being sent to I need to, buy, I need to buy bigger boxes. It obviously works for her. <clears throat> yeah. I mean, you can use one of those clips to close the bag, like a little plastic clip. That's true. But the Tupperware works too. Oh, no, it would be, like, like a gold or silver... Fucking, brooch. Yeah. It'll be like part of the crown jewels. <laughs> yes, this was Queen, Hen Queen Henrietta's uh, wedding brooch. I use it to seal my special K packet so it doesn't go stale. Oh my God. No, she just uses some Tupperware like a normal person. <clears throat> She's just like me and you. She is. She is. Apart from a billionaire. So it's been 67 years special K's been around. And chosen by God. Sorry? She's chosen by God to rule She's over not us. not Pope. No, but she has divine right. Does she? Yeah, even today. What, like an uh, Egyptian pharaoh? She's the head of the Church of England. Is she a God? She is the Pope, basically, is for she the a, Church of England. She is the head of the Church of England. Yeah. That's weird, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she also used to enjoy kippers. Um, oh, yeah. So apparently, when Not she was a reasonable. little girl, little Princess Elizabeth and Princess Margaret, her sister, <laughs> two young princesses, they're like, walk, they're hand in hand, skipping around Winter Castle. La, 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 la. And then they, they just, they smelt something. <laughs> Described as a compelling aroma. Mm. And they, they found um, 
in the private kitchen of the housekeeper, Mrs. Alice Bruce. Oh, what's that delicious smell? Well, this is my dinner. I haven't eaten all day. I've been busy cleaning up after you two princesses. I want it. I'm a princess. <laughs> I want your dinner. <laughs> is that how it went down? That's how I imagine it went down. <laughs> if you don't give us your kippers, we're going to throw you onto the streets. Now, we do have a pun. We do have a pun. Right. I'll brace myself for the incoming pun. Serial litterer frustrates Richmond neighbourhood. Serial. Do you see what they've done there? Yes. I assume he's routinely littering yeah. cereal. Cheerios and shreddies were sprinkled across the neighbourhood. Right. So, hmm, Ziploc Zip bags yeah. containing the cereal mixture. It's weird, isn't it? Have been cut open and dumped along Daniel's Road. Why, why, why are there still the Ziploc bags? I guess if they want to do it quickly. So I bought some sunflower seeds. Yeah. Oh, you're like um, uh, Fox Mulder. Right. Fox Mulder used to eat uh, sunflower seeds. Yeah. Yeah, because they're messy. I'm not. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Dreadful fucking mess. But I had. But they sent me like. A mega bag. Obviously. And I, and I bet it was like a pound for like 14 and they're kilo And unsalted bag. as well. Yeah, well, obviously. Yeah. So they're good for the birds. But, so I'm slowly trying to get rid of them. Yeah. And what I do is oh. I, I put some in my pockets. Oh my God, it's like the great escape. You're digging a tunnel <laughs> and trying to get rid of the dirt. You're just walking around. Have you got a hole in I've your pocket? A, I've got a hole in my pocket. Yeah. and it, <laughs> it goes down the trouser down, leg. And I'm walking through the centre of town. <laughs> Sunflower seeds come out of my, and then the oh, birds get them. I, I don't want to throw brilliant. two away. I don't want to feed the rats though. Do you know what I mean? I, and the vermin. You got. You can't do it too late either, because the birds usually. I don't like, think we probably have too much of a problem with rats in Bristol. No, but I don't. Surprisingly, I, I mean, it's only. I'm only feeding the pigeons and seagulls, but I'd rather feed them than throw it in the bin. Yeah. Right. I'm not sure. I don't don't know know if ducks could eat sunflower seeds. I I, I assume it kills them. Apparently, does it? You, you know what you should feed ducks: peas, honey, stars. Not honey stars. <laughs> it punctures their beaks. <laughs> oh no! Shit. Yeah, so they eat well, them dry. And then when they fly up in the air, they're at risk of danger because the altitude. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but they'll be back up. If, but sake. they'll be back playing netball in no time yeah. against the ostriches. <laughs> <laughs> he mews, but he yeah. I did say ostriches. Yeah, I did say. It. I'm trying to like link this all together in a weird meandering web of nonsense. Like a great cinematic universe of serial news. <laughs> so apparently every two or three days, uh, someone was dumping these ripped open bags of cereal right. around the neighbourhood. I don't like that they're dumping the bags. That's what makes me concerned. Because like... They're if ripping open the bag and throwing it. If I was dumping it. it, I would empty it out of the bag. Things that takes time. And I think they're doing it... Out of the window. Yeah, out of a window of a car as they're passing well, by they're or they're on a bike. The verge, like a paper boy. Maybe. But they're taking the time to rip open... I feel like ripping open the bag or cutting open the bag. They got like a, they got a knife in one hand. They got a bag in the How other How are they holding onto the bike? And they throw it and then they get the are other bag Are they in a sidecar? Do they have an accomplice? Maybe they do. This story's getting out of control. Right, look, let's just take well, a step back and read the article. What's happening? We need more info. The type of cereal is consistently the same. Same type of plastic bag. No evidence of the actual brand of cereal box or anything of that nature. Just this plastic bag. Ironically, there would always be a pile of cereal just under the block watch sign. Block watch, is that... That's neighbourhood that watch. That must be the neighbourhood watch. Why block, is that ironically? Block. Because you'd think that people would be keeping an eye on the neighbourhood and yet right. they're getting away with dumping it right under the sign announcing that there's... Are they? T is this like the baked bean guy from previous? Just a baked bean vandal? Do you know what I mean? It's weird, isn't it? But the it? Canadian version. It's, it's, it's very weird. And there doesn't seem to be any mention of birds. The Canadians it. put maple syrup... On their cereal, probably. I think they they have maple syrup with everything that they eat. Um, I mean, it does it's great? 
They can put it in. It's very flexible. Coffee. On bacon, it's absolutely pop fucking it in fantastic. Whiskey. Yeah, pop it on your ice cream. Pop it on, and you know, you name it. Toast. I think maple syrup on toast will be fine. Yogurt. Sure. Yogurt. Beans on toast. A bit of maple syrup. They're already quite sweet. But cranberry <clears throat> juice. Cranberry juice with maple syrup. Quite tart. There's probably people that literally start the morning, they get a shot glass out, maple syrup. <laughs> and that's <laughs> it, they go about their day. <laughs> yeah. That's a Canadian breakfast. Right. That sounds that sounds a spliff, a big fat biffer and a shot of maple syrup. <laughs> it's like soaked in maple syrup. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Mm. That has to be a thing. Papers soaked. Maple syrup papers. Yeah, has to be a thing. It is probably a has thing. Has to be, hundred percent. If it's not, fuck me. You can that's have that one so for free, good though. That's... Oh my god. So they contacted a local church that has like a like a food bank. They were like, do, do you put cereal packages? Because they thought they might be putting the Ziploc bags of cereal in their food packages. And someone is buying, you know, getting them, not buying them, being given them. And they're like, oh, I hate this cereal. And then they're just throwing it away. Right. But they're not. They don't give away the cereal. That's like and a lead. I don't think it is that. I think it's one person who maybe had like a cat or a dog that loved cereal. Maybe it's gone missing. And maybe they're leaving cereal around for it to try and lure it back. This has been going on for like one and a half years, this shit. Maybe. It's insane. Okay, look. Let us know if there's any people in the comments with theories. I want there was a theories. car. There was a car. Someone saw a car that may have been the cereal throwing They were discarding car. a bag. It may have been a bag with cereal. It may have just been a different bag. Multiple neighbours have seen someone dumping cereal out of a different car. So maybe there's several people going around dumping cereal. But Dif why? Different rival Why are they doing it? Oh, my God. One of them's the Cheerio gang and one of them's the Shreddies gang. <laughs> They're like marking their territory. Oh my God, that's what it is. That's why it's up against the signpost. It's like them pissing on the tree. This is my neighbourhood. Maybe it's bored kids doing it. I don't know. No, they do something cooler than cereal. Cereal's out of date. And they do more modern cereals. I just wanted to stop! <laughs> they do like Lucky Charms <laughs> or something. That's what they say. You know what I mean? In today's society, it'll probably be a slap on the wrist, but I just want it to stop! In today's society, it'll, be, it'll probably be a slap on the wrist. What do you want, Salami? Death penalty! <laughs> I don't know if they feel like they're doing something good. I, I don't know what it's about! <laughs> they're losing their mind. Yeah. It's too much pressure. Cereal being dumped. This is a small town. With, this is a small town problem. With not much going on. I mean, their worst problem going on in this town is the cereal litterer. There's a couple of people dumping different kinds of cereal. Yeah, that's the biggest crime that's ever been committed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, fuck me. We still got one more. Lucky charm. Magically suspicious. Why are thousands claiming? Sickness after eating Lucky Charms. Nausea, vomiting, and diarrhea, some people are reported we, having. We always joke about popular brands that they cause us to have diarrhea. Right. Rustlers. Yep. McDonald's. KFC. Oh, yeah. KFC. Every time I eat it. It's there must be something, one of those 69 secret. herbs and spices I'm allergic to. That just means it just no. starts flowing out of you. I don't know what it is. Um, so, you know, there was that, that thing, Gulf War Syndrome. Oh, right. Yeah. They think that was caused <clears throat> by sarin gas, right? Okay. Like when they bombed all of these military installations, it blew a lot of sarin gas into the atmosphere and a lot of soldiers breathed it in. And it turns out that certain people have a gene which is more susceptible to sarin than others. And it turns out that they studied Everyone's a lot of Everyone's these... susceptible to it. Yeah, but I think certain people are especially susceptible. Right. And so it turns out that all of these <laughs> Gulf War, these, these, these military services who fought in the Gulf War and ended up with Gulf War Syndrome, had that, a lot more of them had that gene than right. others. So it's a, 
I'm not saying they're putting sarin gas in Lucky Charms. Let's just make that clear. Legally. Legally, we cannot Legally, say. the Yorks cast is stating that we are not sure whether or not sarin gas is being put in Lucky Charms. Yes, but it may well be How would that you put a gas some in people it, are genetically susceptible to the happiness and joy that Lucky Charms... The delicious bowl of Lucky the, Charms cereal. The delicious, sugar-rich... <laughs> Healthy marshmallowy joy yeah. in every bite of the uh, he- of the cereal Lucky Charms available now. So this is this is a weird story because apparently the um, U.S. Food and Drug Administration, the the FDA, yeah, has gotten hundreds of complaints about the cereal, this particular brand, Lucky Charms. Right, but it might just be that people are getting ill and thinking it's the cereal, or they're not really ill at all, but there's like a form of hysteria and they're attributing them not feeling very well to this thing because they've heard of it or seen it on Facebook. This is a very common thing. So, for example, like if you ate some nasty berries and I said, and you were like, oh, I just ate those really nice white berries off the bush outside, Mm. I'd be like... Oh, those fucking, mistletoe. Those those berries are poisonous. They'll kill you. What? You'd start feeling very sick very quickly, and then be sick because, like, your that's part of your 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 brain is part of the equation, right? So we want to find connections between things that like a uh, like causality. Yeah. So we want to find patterns and things. And that's true. Yes, we do. We look for <clears throat> as humans, we look for patterns. And I think that in many cases, I don't. If you've been eating Lucky Charms, or, and there's a chance that the factory had a bad batch and then they had some salmonella in or something, or you know, some dodgy thing happened. That's definitely a thing that can happen, sure. They're not going to test every single box of cereal that goes mm. out, are they? And they could have been either not sealed properly or gone off or whatever. Like That is a thing that happens all the time, especially when you have this many. I mean, Lucky Charms is a huge thing, right? Yeah. And But yeah, there are mm. like other factors that can be involved. So there's, there's 100 complaints to the FDA, but there's a, a food safety site, Iwaspoisoned.com. Right. What a wonderful name for a website. They have 4,500 reports. Of illness. Presumably mm. from Lucky Charms well, in particular. If you were only eating Lucky Charms, would that make you sick as well? Do you know what I mean? Like... Are they a balanced diet on their own? Then maybe what we need is uh, what I'm saying is we need like a case study. Maybe they're not getting enough. I need a man who only eats Lucky Charms. Right? Is he okay? <clears throat> no, his life's falling apart. His wife left him. <laughs> <laughs> what he does is eat cereal, dry cereal. Oh fuck's sake! Right, yeah. but he's got a netball uh, tournament yeah. coming up. The grand final. It's going to go great. Mixed as well. Mixed netball. Yeah. Um, like a cereal. <laughs> got marshmallows in it and all sorts. It's got different shapes. Can you name any of the shapes? Don't look at the don't look at the website. Try and name Charms. Lucky Charm shapes. The horseshoe. The horseshoe. That was my <laughs> Irish. <laughs> that was your Irish accent. The sound like Bristolian. Horseshoe. It's a Bristol accent you um, just did. The pot of gold. The pot of gold. The pot of gold. There's got to be stars and moons. The point of Guinness. There's stars and moons, 100%. Okay, so as of April last year, there's a heart which gives life to objects. Okay. Because there's magic oh. in the charms. So it brings things to life. Yeah. A star which gives you the power of flight. It doesn't. <laughs> Horseshoe. Power of speed, not luck. Luck is the clover. There is a clover. The blue moon, well invisibility. Done. Rainbow, <laughs> teleportation. The red balloon, the power to float. There's already the power of flight, right? With the star. The power of float seems pretty fucking lame compared to that. Unicorn, unicorn? Brings colour to the world, which is not a great superpower, is it? Um, uh, well, it's kind of like the Captain Planet one, isn't it? It's like heart, you know? Yeah. You've got all the real ones and then you've got the... But the heart the... gives life to things. Brings colour to the world might be very good, though. You know, it might be good. What I'm saying is if... if... <laughs> 
if us here at the Yogg's cast were randomly given each, you know, one of these powers each, right? And I got fucking unicorn power, bringing colour to the world. I'd be very disappointed. What would you like? Gives life to objects. That's a weird one. It like, is. can I make this glass of water become alive? Help! Help me! Help! <sighs> oh my god, you just ripped off. <clears throat> Part it's of dead now. Living. Oh, he's dead now. No, he's not actually dead. That was his vocal cords I drank. The rest of him is still alive. He's just screaming silently. <laughs> Good Lord. It's awful. I have no mouth and I must scream. <laughs> I'm a glass of water. Five stories, all relatively new-ish, all to do with cereal. Very odd. Very, Very odd. odd. The um, world is an interesting place. Yeah. It's like a kind of um, convergence of crap. You know? News, like the news, the world of news mm. is f so filled yeah. with shitty triviality that you can find five pieces of news <laughs> about breakfast cereal. It's like, it's like I've, I've got like a window in a, like a sewer pipe and I'm looking at the turds as they're going by and I'm grabbing, it's not just a window, it's a hole as well, or it's, or it's an openable window. Yeah. It's a flap. Some of them have bits of Special <laughs> K or Honey Star stuck in the turds. I like cereal. Undigested. Cereal news. Cereal news. Uh, more cereal news next week. Another five stories. <laughs> I can't wait. <laughs>